Hey, hey guys, F -f -f Fire here, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Z -Z Zombies, Aliens, and Guns. This game is currently available at the Xbox Store for a price starting at 6 bucks. You can save a little bit of money right now as it is on sale at the time of recording. It's developed by Nine Ratones and published by Ratalaka Games. It's a... Honestly, a very basic kind of game uh, where you're kind of just going around shooting aliens, saving people, fighting random bosses, and it doesn't really have much beyond that. The game doesn't feature many things in terms of difficulty settings or any real like procedural type of content. You're just going to be running around trying to kill as many aliens, complete whatever objective you have, in a very dull and kind of bland and basic story. What the game kind of lacks in it being really a game is you can literally just crab walk your way through the entire game as when you stand still you regenerate health. The only thing you really have to worry about are the people that you're protecting and beyond that there's nothing really more for you to do within the game. You can shoot things through fences which really you shouldn't really be able to do. I, I know you should but it kind of just takes a bit out of the game. The missions are honestly very repetitive and don't change t too much. And a lot of the content while you're playing is going to be almost identical all along the way. Collect some some objectives, kill a couple things, save a couple people, rinse and repeat until you proceed on to the next area of the game. The controls are very basic. You're just going to be using your analog sticks to aim guns at people, hold down your right trigger, and just watch your bullet counter until it completely wipes out, stand still, and kind of rinse and repeat. You don't really get a variety of any type of w weapons in the game, and the enemies, honestly, you're all kind of just the same kind of bullet-shielded characters that you're going to fight all along the way every time you play the game. Now, the game does have a little bit of content in terms of, you know, some of the different enemies and bosses and a couple oddity missions that can give you a little bit of fun. The game overall is going to only last you probably a little over an hour unless you just get stuck on a couple missions. But it's it's a game that honestly comes across as a very basic and young kid supported game. It's got local multiplayer. There is no online multiplayer. And as you can see here, I start to take some damage. I just need to stand still. And this is kind of really all the content for the game has to offer. The the art style doesn't change a whole he he heck of a lot, and just the types of things you're going to be doing while you're playing don't differ too much at the same time. It's just going to be a lot of very basic content. Visually, the game's okay. It's got a interesting like th 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 3D angled kind of art style, which that's probably the best thing the game has going for it. But Beyond that, there's not a lot else the game really has going for it from a content perspective. I, I think the best selling point is the game comes in at a $6 price point, and beyond like a story that's not really there, you're just going to be walking in and out of d different missions with no really rhyme or reason. It doesn't have much of dead dialogue or anything beyond when you first initially play the game, and there's no mission selects or anything. You just can continue, so you can't really go back and replay things. There's no like leaderboards, stats, or anything that you really have going on. And honestly, the best missions in the game are just when you get to be in a car. And even at that point, it feels very much like the game just hands you the victories al al along the way. Overall, I think this game is very b basic, isn't really that for fun, and is honestly, there's probably better games that you can consider checking out in the Xbox Store. Outside of that, guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think of my review down below in the c comments. If there's a game you have that you could compare this to, I'd love to hear what you think it might be similar to. Outside of that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, thanks for ch ch checking out my channel. I hope to see you again soon.